Hello everyone, I'm I Said Knife, and welcome to Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Um, now there are actually two games. There's uh, standard Titan Quest, and then there's Titan Quest Ragnarok. But for the Anniversary Edition, they combine them into a single game. Um, now for those of you who have played uh, games like Diablo, this plays a lot like that in the, set, in the sense that it's a, a hack and slash RPG. Um, I have not personally played this game, but it had very positive reviews on Steam, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So, let's, uh, play Titan Quest. There are options over here. Hang on, I gotta move my camera. Alright, so my name... Uh, let's see, what, what, what's, what's a cool name to... How about Thule? Thule... Nazir. Why not? Okay, tunic color... Uh, how about red? Alright, create. Uh, apparently that's me. And let's give it a shot! One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples, which have stood forever, will be destroyed. Heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest that? of heroes are born. But what was the thing in the back, the shadowy thing? But what was the shadowy thing in the back? Okay, so... Oh, jeez. Oh. Um... I don't entirely like that control. I, I control where I go by the mouse. I'm not entirely sure I enjoy that. There we go. Okay, so now that we got all that taken care of, let's uh, talk to this person. You there, soldier! If you've come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here in Helos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields and our supplies are running low. Please, go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, satyrs are, um, like the half-man, half-goat things that you see in Greek mythology. Okay, um... Basic attack performs, attack with your equipped weapon, skill ready. Okay. Can I hotkey this? Right click, basic attack. Okay, so okay, that's a bit more helpful. Okay, who are you? Can, can I? There you we go. Must have been sent by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. Okay, so kill the satyrs or boars, rather. drop anything it doesn't look like you saved my horse thank you but I'm not the only one in trouble down the road there that's my village Kilos we've got monsters at the gates in the fields they're everywhere okay so we're going down the road kill them all Guard captain for this small village. 
We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. It's that cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. What's this? Rebirth Fountain? What does a Rebirth Fountain do? The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul drinks from it. Should you suffer the dark fate in battle, your body will return to the fountain. Oh, and it's a respawn point. Again. Okay. Now I understand. Uh, Hello, Diomedes. stranger. I'm Diomedes, Medes. the leader of the Diomedes. <laughs> Do you mean to say that you fought me here? If that's true, then please, I beg of you. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side weapon. of the river, just Honestly, over this bridge. Just, it looks the shaman like I'm wielding was last a stick. seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. We will pay you what we can. Damn right you're gonna pay me. I ain't doing this for free. Did they drop anything I can use? No? Doesn't appear so. Die, Seder! Archers. Aha! Die, Seder! Ah, the birds! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am very much going to die. Assistance! Assistance! I require aid! Help me! No! Ah, yes. This is why I would like better equipment. None of them are dropping items, which is a shame. You guys were useless. Because I don't have any healing potions, and I really don't want to die. He dropped a spear, he drops a club, and I'm just coming at him with this tiny little stick dagger thing. Okay, who are you? At harvest time, the whole village sets to work in the fields. The crops must be gathered and properly stored. We make an offering to Demeter, goddess of bounty. Die, satyr! Ooh, a chest. Maybe there's something useful in there. Come on. Come down this way, away from the chest. Okay. Is there anything else near the chest? No, it doesn't look like it. So I figured out how to pick up items. And it doesn't look like that the satyrs are dropping anything I can use. So for now, it looks like I'm limited to items that I get from chests. But I got three potions out of that last chest, so that works. I really wish I just I could just get some better equipment, is all. That's all I want. Oh! I leveled up! I 
didn't know there was. I didn't know there was experience. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Uh, the archer's got to go first. Wait. They're running away. They're trying to lead me somewhere. Kill the archer. I'm assuming that's the shaman. Minions gotta die first. Numbers is not a good thing you want to mess with. Okay. He's still chasing me. If I can get the little minions... Nope, that ain't gonna work. Ooh, you left one by itself. Left a couple by themselves. If I can handle them one at a time. Or not. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Because the little one's got to die first before I can handle the big one. Get some money. Um, hang on a second. I want to do a thing real quick. Health potion. Energy potion. Make these empty. It's already got basic attack on it, but I really don't need that. Nope, 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 nope. Gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Come on. Okay. I'm not doing any damage? Okay, now I'm doing damage. I just wasted my health potions because I wasn't doing any damage. I gotta go this way. No. Hopefully he's not healing as well. Okay. I know this is really not what you guys want to see, but I don't have any potions left and I don't want to die again. Ah, oh, crap, he's healing too. Great. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him now, because I don't have the potions, and I wasted everything that I had. Character menu? I have 530 gold, and I don't have... Yeah, I have a copper knife. What's that do? 48 damage? I need something better. I have 530 gold. There's got to be someone I can talk to here that has a store. If you're Trader. going out there, don't go unprepared. It is not safe. Buy what you need here. 9 to 16 damage. Alright, so the best thing I can do is get myself a better weapon. Because this does 7 to 9 damage, this does 9 to 16 damage. So I'll get that. Lesser health potion. I'm probably gonna need it. All right. So I have a lesser, a lesser health potion, and I now have an axe. So put that down there. Put this here. Can I sell this? That's the buyback menu. That wasn't worth much. Okay. Alright. We shall see I again. have a better weapon now. Um hopefully I can do some more damage. 
Seems to be working better on these boars. Okay. So, skills window. Oh, that's what I opened earlier. Excels at dealing massive lightning and cold damage to single opponents or small groups. Stormcrawler has limited personal defenses but can slow freeze and stun enemies with frost and thunder attacks. Warfare. The warrior excels at dealing out physical damage but pays little heed to defense. With higher mastery levels, the warrior can learn to deal damage to several adversaries at once. Uh, the Wanderer can call on denizens of the forest to deal damage and shield them from enemies. Um, with games like this, I typically like to go more for the hack and slash style of gameplay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Warrior. I have three unused skill points. Um, I don't know how this works exactly. Lower left corner to increment your mastery and unlock the first tier of skills. Weapon training. Years of training with sword, axe, and club allow you to attack faster and more accurately. Also grant some proficiency in throwing them. Uh, battle rage. Each enemy hit has a chance of sending you into a battle rage. Adds bonus damage to attacks and increases offensive ability for a short duration. Uh, when used as your default weapon attack, Onslaught charges up as you hit enemies, causing increased damage. The first hit always charges Onslaught to the first level of the skill, and it continues to charge until it reaches your current skill level. Onslaught dissipates rapidly when not attacking. Assign this skill to your left mouse button. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, I think I'm going to put two points in this one, actually. Alright, so I've leveled up a little bit, and I've gotten a better weapon, so hopefully I'll have a better chance at killing this shaman. Oh, I'm not doing any damage. Why am I not doing damage? I think I might actually kill it. I'm gonna kill it! Ha ha! Okay, what is this thing? Really? I could have regenerated my health with that at any time? You gotta be kidding me. So, are there any more enemies that I can... Yep, right here. I like how there's a day-night cycle in this, too. There's a lot of boars right here. Oh, God. I'm dying a lot. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna go finish them off. Oh, I got a uh, mana potion. I think the boars were this way. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's what it's for. Every time you die, you lose experience. That's a shame. Good to know, but that's a shame. 
The waters within these fountains are blessed okay, by the I gods. I already heard they what you see. had to say. How about you? What do you have to say? You have saved our farms and our livelihoods. For this, we thank you. Okay. I'd rather you pay me. These shrines are ancient, as old oh, it's as a portal. kind some say. They say Prometheus, who brought us fire, built these too. And in ancient times, men traveled by them. So I'm assuming that I'll find portals like this throughout the world and, uh, and be able to return here. Leave if you must, traveler, but we need your help. The farms are on the other side of the village, across the bridge. I'm guessing there are more things to kill. Um, I don't want to kill anything else. Monsters all over the unless village. I get some They're burning decent and armor. killing everything in their path. I've never seen such things in my life. The chaos and destruction, it it is all too much for me to handle. What do you sell? I'll hold your things for you. Oh, you're a bank. Your goods are safe with you. If you're going out there, don't go unprepared. It is not safe. I'd like some decent Buy what armor. you need here. Man, I don't have enough gold for anything. Goodbye, my friend. So. Anything Thank else? Do. Yeah, I don't have enough gold for anything. Alright. I guess I'm gonna go kill some more things then. More satyrs. Huh, you have a question. We were leading our flocks home when a pack of satyrs attacked. By the gods, they grabbed Telus and dragged him into a roadside cave. The roads aren't safe. Nowhere is safe anymore. All right, let's go save Talus. See if I can find the roadside cave, and then we'll save Talus. Boar. A ravenous boar. Okay. Boar. What does this do? Shrine of Mastery. Huh. Wonder what that does. Okay, roadside cave, roadside cave, looking for Telus. Did you think you could hide from me? All shall perish at the hand of, uh... I don't remember what I named this guy. Thul! Nope. Stop swinging and run! Relics and charms. Relics and charms are used to enhance equipment. Relics are mostly found in their respective uh, mythological region, while charms are made from parts of certain enemies. Well, enemies aren't dropping anything, so how can I make charms? Find that roadside cave so I can save Telus. I killed a level four boar. Um, 
Okay, unfortunately, that's all the time I'm going to have for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me play Titan Quest, be sure to like and subscribe. Will you be a part of the next video? We'll see.